that second? That second? Uh, for, those, for those of you in uh, in town that know, the restaurant Pavarotti's is changing hands. Um, as I understand it, the new owner is going to keep the same name and also going to honor any existing gift certificates as far as that's concerned. So this is the simplest of all liquor license transfers. It's really just a formality. And the applicant is here and, and certainly welcome to say anything and speak if he wishes. No, I appreciate having such a great audience. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe today. They heard that you got that free beer. <laughs> we appreciate it. I have a license. <laughs> OK. Does the board have any questions? Uh, any public questions? safety had no issues, no questions, and no comments. OK. Okay, uh, let's uh, have a motion to close the hearing. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Is there any public comment on the <laughs> issue of the liquor license? Uh, the, uh, yes, the transfer of the all alcohol uh, restaurant liquor license. The restaurant Pavarotti. Hearing none, let's just let fair. Move the board of select and close the hearing. The transfer of all alcohol liquor license from restaurant Pavarotti Inc. DBA Restaurant Pavarotti to Rocco's Enterprises, LLC, DBA Restaurant Pavarotti. At 601 Main Street, and approve Paul de Roca as the manager subject to the following conditions. All bylaws, rules, and regulations of the town of Reading and of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts shall be followed and subject to a satisfactory inspection of the establishment by the town manager or his designee. Uh, thank you. We're going to break that into two motions. Uh, first call on the motion to close the hearing. Uh, any comment? Is that second? Motion second. Yeah. And all in favor of closing the hearing? The vote is 4 0. And on the granting of the transfer of the liquor license, any further discussion? All those in favor? The vote is 4 0. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. And yeah, with that, uh, we are <laughs> moving forward to the pinning ceremony for our new chiefs, Chief Sagawa. Uh, Bob, would you like to? First, we have some guests coming in for the door. Sure. that I'm going to relay about Mark, but there's some that not many know that I'm going to start off with. 
<laughs> He's very nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> the first interesting fact is that Mark shares the same birth date with American actress Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, Cameron Diaz is most famous for not shooting an X-rated movie in Reading Public Schools. <laughs> Mark received his bachelor's at UMass Lowell, his master's at Western New England, and in June of 96, he was hired by Reading as a police officer. As I understand it, he was working as a police officer in Vermont for about two days, I think. <laughs> and, uh, the appointment letter came very quickly, and the chief of police in Vermont was very nice and said, that's your hometown, go. So it was a very auspicious start, certainly, and, and Mark, we're thrilled that you had that opportunity. Um, since then, Mark has served as a member of the Honor Guard, the bike unit, the motorcycle unit, and then as a field training officer. So you see increasing mobility and responsibility. He was promoted to detective in 2005, to sergeant in 2007. He liked them both so much in 2008, he was promoted to detective sergeant. <laughs> in 2009, he took charge as the criminal division commander, and certainly in a very um, a very good accomplishment and sort of a historic one. In 2014, Mark became the first deputy chief of police in Reading ever. So I'd like to certainly congratulate Mark. It's been a wonderful 20-year career as chief. I hope you're here for now another 10 or more years and you have good health. Thanks. privilege to be able to name Mark the next police chief and introduce the town clerk Laura Jam to give the oath of office. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as all the duties incumbent on me as. Chief of Police. Chief of Police. With the Town of Reading Police Department. The Town of Reading Police Department. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. Agreeably to the Constitution. Agreeably to the Constitution. And the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And to the Charter. And to the Charter. And bylaws of the Town of Reading. And the bylaws of the Town of Reading. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Very much. son Ryan, my son Matthew made when I became the deputy chief he pinned me so Ryan's big thing was when I became if I ever became chief he was gonna pin me. so Ryan if you want to see 12 be careful wherever you are, back there. There you are, back there. Uh, the Selection Committee, uh, the Minnesota District Attorney, Mary Ryan, Sheriff Peter Katusian, who somewhere he is right back there in the corner. Uh, all the area police chiefs that are here, the Reading Police Honor Guard, the, uh, uh, all the members of the Reading Police Department and all the other departments that are here tonight that rep represent it. And also, the, quite honestly, the music. <laughs> you know, we, we like to make a little noise when we come in tonight. Uh, last but not least, of my rock of 16 years, my wife, Julie, and our sons, Matthew and Ryan. My parents, my brother and sister, and my in-laws, who if I didn't mention, they would kill me. <laughs> uh, I'd be, uh, I'm proud to be Reading's chief law enforcement official. I want to thank Chief James Cormier for believing in me and my ability as he promoted me through the ranks and gave me the necessary tools to fill his shoes. I wish him and his family the best in retirement. Again, thank you all for coming. It's an honor to be uh, 
It's an honor to be the town of Reading's police chief. Thank you. Thank you. 